Praise God. I, sometimes I feel I get up too much, but uh, I appreciate this this morning. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, for some time God's been uh, zeroing in on me, um, on some of my needs. And this is a big one right here that we've heard this morning. And he's been zeroing in on, and he's been giving me scriptures. I know last week I got, I had the scripture um, about straight is the gate, narrow is the way that leads to life. And uh, few there be that find it. And, um, you know, and I'm not condemned this morning. I believe God has spoken. He has spoken to me, and he has confirmed what he's been telling me this morning um, through his word. Um, I refuse to be condemned or beat down. I believe God is, is trying to help me. He's reaching down. I can't, I can't preach to you or, or say, you know, what you need this morning, but I know what I need. And I need this. And I need to surrender to the Lord in every, every aspect of my life. I know sometimes I get mad because I have to go do this and help somebody or I have to go do that and help somebody. That just shows what, what's going, that's, show something wrong there because we're brothers and sisters we're brethren and it's a it's a blessing to be able to help my brother and my sister to be able to have any kind of talent at all to be able to reach out and touch God's people that's a blessing that's something that God gives we, we don't we don't get it ourselves the gifts and callings of God are, are not we don't go out and get them God gives them to us and they can't be removed either but we can we can, ex we can stir up the gift that's in us. And God wants, that's what he's doing. He's trying to get us to stir up that gift. But you know, the, uh, last week, um, I, I woke up one morning, and uh, I was somewhere between sleep and waking up. It's kind of like a void. But I sensed that I was leaving this earth and, and going to wherever I was going. And it just hit me like a ton of bricks. Lord, once I leave this life, there's nothing else I can do. That's it. Let me tell you, when, when you reach that threshold and you're leaving, you can't go back and change anything. You can't go back and, and try to make things right. We have an opportunity today when we hear his voice to, to make things right and, and to make things stick. But I thought of the scripture this morning uh, before I even came to church. Because Phil, and Phil brought this out, the issue is the heart. The issue is our heart and what our heart wants. What does our heart really want? And the Lord kind of asked me this morning, you know, I was thinking about um, going to heaven, you know, leaving here and going to heaven, and I thought, you know, what, what do I have on the other side? What have I laid up on the other side? And I got to thinking, and I said, God, I don't know that I have anything laid up over there. But you know, that's what we're supposed to be doing. That's what, that's what the Lord is after. And he said, lay up not for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust does corrupt and where thieves break through and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven where neither moth nor rust does corrupt and where thieves do not break through or steal. And these aren't literal things. These are spiritual things. These are things that, that only God can help us to do. But we can't do those things if we're not even in tune with him. If our heart is out here on the world and something my flesh wants and something that I, that I desire to do more than to do his will, then I'm not going to have any treasure there. But he says this, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Am I excited about going to the other side? About getting into that kingdom? When the Lord saved me, that, that was all I thought about. Was, was just being with the Lord and, and, and just doing his will and, and you know, and, and the prospect of going to that great city. But does that excite me today? Or, or would I rather have something else down here? You know, there's a scripture over in, uh, in Luke. And uh, Jesus said this. Of course, he's talking to the disciples here. He said, heaven and earth pass away, but my words shall not ever pass away. And he said, and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting. Surfeiting is, uh, is, is, uh, is being absorbed with the, uh, 
the cares of this life, being absorbed with, with what things down here that we, can, we want or want to have. Or be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and the cares of this life so that that day comes upon you unaware. You know, waking up, you know, we talk, we, this ministry, um, this ministry was actually um, based on the scripture over there in Matthew 25 about at midnight there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. And all the virgins there were sleeping. But they awoke. But let me tell you something. That awakening sometimes takes a while. And, and Phil said this. He said, thank God God is patient. He is patient. And we can't do this. As much as I would like to just go out of here today and just be completely free, just tear off all these things that are um, that are you know, drawing my attention away from him and his kingdom, I know that it's little by little. That it's here a little, there a little. You know, it's line upon line, precept upon precept. But I know that God is working. And that encourages me this morning. This word encourages me this morning. It, it reinforces what God's been speaking to my heart. And I believe that he's been speaking it to your heart. Every child of God that has the spirit of Christ in him, you've got to be miserable. I'm miserable when I'm not surrendered to the Lord. I am completely miserable. But when I, when I do surrender to his will and, and, and become and start doing what he wants me to do, then I'm full of joy. It, it, you know, and I, I, I've got so many things I'd like to do, you know, down here on this earth. But let me tell you something. I want my treasure to be up there. You know, and the older you get, the closer you get to that treasure. So, I don't know. I just appreciate this this morning. I appreciate God's word to us, to encourage us. This isn't to beat us down. This isn't to try to make us rise up in our flesh and try to do this. But it's to cause us to seek him. Because I've come to this stark reality, I can't do it. As, as many times as, I've, uh, as I've, these thoughts have come to me and, and God has revealed the need... I can't change myself. Only God can. But he changes us through the washing of the water by the word. And he's washing us. And I'm thankful for this this morning. Aren't you? I just appreciate our God. I appreciate his faithfulness. But I appreciate the truth. That's what we need. It's the truth that's going to make us free. And truth isn't always something that, that rubs your fur the right way. Truth is something that will help you. And help you come closer to God, closer to his son, closer to his people. It will unite us. And I just appreciate this. Well, praise God. I don't, I don't have much to say, but in light of the prayer meeting this morning, or the, well, the prayer meeting as well as the men's meeting, and what Phil and what Ron has said and, and others, I, got, I want to say what Joshua said. It's for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. We're going to go forward with it. And, you know, we need to have conviction, not condemnation. That's what I'm, that's what I'm praying for. God, convict us. You know, we're, we're one of many in this world, but we're a few. We're just chosen of God to be who we are and what we are. Let's don't do like Ron just said. Let's lay those treasures up in heaven. This, this stuff on this earth is not going to last. It's temporary. And I'll tell you what else it is. It's, it's toil. It's all vanity, just like Solomon found out. So let's take this to heart. Let's take it to heart, because if, if what we're doing here is not for the kingdom of God, it serves nothing when we leave this world. And unless something's bad wrong with the scriptures, eternity is a whole lot longer than the 60, 70 years we live on this earth. And we get to spend, you know, I'm going to spend eternity with you folks. So let's lay up treasures that we can enjoy when we cross this, this divide. I was thinking about Sister Cousins and the, the request for her. She's a great woman. Lord bless her to be with us all those years. Let's pray for her. Let's pray for those that help her and keep her. And let's pray that God will give 
all of us a strong mind until the day he takes us. You know, to where we can enjoy one another, enjoy the kingdom of God, and let's choose. Let's choose to serve. You know, it's a choice. When, uh, when Joshua made that statement, it was over a great divide. People made choices. This brother in India, Phil was talking about, that wasn't something they made without taking a choice. And they decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. And I'll tell you, the, the devil, he knows when we do that. And i tell you, he's defeated. He was defeated at the cross. It doesn't help us to remind him, let him know when temptations come, when we want to go out here and do our thing, when we don't want to serve the Lord, let's let the devil know we made that decision and we're going to stand on it. I hope I haven't muddied things up, but I tell you, the Lord has been with us all this morning. He spoke to us. He spoke to the men. Precious time in fellowship. And he, I believe he spoke his word to us. And let's take it to heart. Let it let it find its place in our hearts so that we can live a better life for the Lord and lay up those treasures in heaven. Praise God. Hi. Um, I just wanted to say that I was very convicted by what was said today. And um, I made the decision to follow God four years ago, but um, I just want a deeper walk with Him. And I want to give Him everything. I don't want to hold anything back because He's so worth it. And he loves me so much, and he has such a better plan for me than I could have ever planned for myself. And I just want to give him everything. I don't want to hold anything back.